Welcome back. So the window to submit applications for low cost home repairs in the West Sacramento neighborhood has now been extended and joining us this morning to talk about the Rock the Block program is Kimberly Coley from the Habitat for Humanity of Greater Sacramento. Thank you so much for joining Good us. Good morning. Good morning. So this is really a great opportunity. What repairs are available and what, what does low cost mean? Define that. Yeah, so we have an exciting opportunity for homeowners who are living in the Bright and Broderick neighborhoods of West Sacramento. We have no cost and low cost home repairs that are part of our third annual Rock the Block initiative taking place on October 11th and 12th. And while October seems far away, the time yeah. is now to apply. Applications are due next Friday, July 12th. Uh, these repairs could include total roof replacements, roof repairs, dry rot removal, uh, drought tolerant landscaping, painting of the exterior of your home, uh, fencing, you name it. There's a lot to take advantage of here. And the best part is we don't do this work alone. We bring out hundreds of community volunteers and partners who join us on October 11th and 12th. In over 36 hours, we'll be doing a dozen of these home repairs, as well as wow. a few community projects as well. All made possible, of course, by the generosity of donors and our presenting sponsors, the City of West Sacramento and Wells Fargo. All right, so this is no small task. Who actually qualifies for these types yes, of repairs? Yes, so we're looking at owner-occupied homes for this project. So those that would qualify would be homeowners living in the Bright and Broderick neighborhoods. These are folks that are living on a fixed or low income and just need some help with some repairs around the house. So um, they can go to our website at habitatgreatersac.org forward slash rock the block. You can view a map of our service area there as well as download the application. And also, uh, folks can join us next Tuesday, July 9th in uh, West Sacramento at the Bright Broderick uh, Community Center. We're going to be hosting a little community information session there on July 9th, 6.30 p.m. No need to RSVP, just show up and learn more. Well, that makes it easy. Yes. Uh, what about the application process? Because that can sometimes be overwhelming. Right, so the application process is actually not all that tough. It's just one page. Um, there are some additional documents that are needed, but they're things that are probably laying around the house already. So proof of home ownership, your mortgage sure. statement, um, proof of homeowner's insurance, uh, income taxes, and a photo ID. And again, you want to gather all that and get it submitted by the deadline, which is next Friday, July 12th. I know you've also said that, uh, obviously, you rely on a lot of volunteers. Are you also still looking to fill some of those Absolutely. Uh, those needs? Yes, <laughs> okay. volunteers, uh, they bring the heart and muscle to our work. So um, always looking for volunteers as well as additional sponsors. So we do have our City of West Sacramento mm -hmm. and Wells Fargo presenting. However, um, looking for additional support as well. You can make an investment uh, in this life-changing work that brings together hundreds of people to help friends and neighbors in need and you can volunteer. Again, website is habitatgreatersac.org forward slash rock the block. Perfect. Kimberly, thank you so much for joining us. This Thanks is really all for having us. I was going to say this is really going to improve just not just someone's home, but it really helps improve the community as well. So thank you so much for your time this morning. Yes, thank really you. appreciate it. All right, Brandy, back to you. Mike, thanks.